Now back to SW19, where American Steve Johnson welcomed us into his rented Wimbledon home after reaching the fourth round of a major for the first time in his career. Welcome to my flat. Uh, we have two stories here. Uh, upstairs is the living room, and down here we have a couple of bedrooms. Now, this first bedroom here is the one uh, that I stay in. It's just, you know, standard, pretty good bedroom. This is where I sleep. Got some clothes all over the place. Hopefully, it's not too messy. Got a nice view of the village behind us. And if we go back this way, upstairs we go. Here we are at the, the living room, dining room, piano studio area. We just hang out, cook, enjoy, get away from the tennis. Yeah, I'm about to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm pretty sure it's just a, you know, a tradition, I guess, for any American kid. Have a PB&J all hours of the day. Pre-match, post-match, doesn't really matter to me. And my rule of thumb is, you know, peanut butter first, then jelly. But the jelly goes on the top of the sandwich so it doesn't get too messy. I used to know how to play the piano. As a kid, you kind of think piano is kind of silly and stupid. And now, as an adult, I really wish I could play the piano. Sounds terrible. This is my balcony right off the living room, and this is kind of where uh, I enjoy to sit outside at night, uh, maybe enjoy a good, uh, good dinner out here, and this is where I like to come and get to, to be at peace for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the flat. Hopefully my piano wasn't too bad for you guys, and my cooking get a little bit better in the future. This year's grass court season has been a major breakthrough for the 26-year-old American who won his first career title in Nottingham the week before Wimbledon. You know, I feel like my game translates to grass pretty well and, and Nottingham to get my first title is, um, you know, something that, you know, maybe I didn't expect this grass season. So happy to, to win my first tournament. So there was uh, so much joy, so much, you know, relief to win one. It was fantastic. And to have some family and friends around to support there is something that I'll be able to share with them the rest of my life. I've known Stevie for a long time and watched him compete in college and I was telling everybody this guy's going to be a great pro and a lot of people didn't believe me just because uh, you know they, they thought his game might be limited at the highest level. But he's a winner and, and it's such a fighter. It's been really impressive to watch Stevie Johnson's improvements and his progression. He's a player that took a little longer to develop, he had so much success in college. He's got a huge serve, a great forehand, he's very athletic, he competes very well. Again. It's been the best 12-month period in his career, but Johnson values the opportunity to share his success with those closest to him. You know, every year that I've been at Wimbledon, my dad's been able to come, so it's been fun to share these experiences with, with everybody and you know, the people who have helped you the most in life. I know one thing, even though he lost to Roger, it was July 4th, his father was there, who was his coach growing up, and to play Roger Federer on center court on July 4th is always going to be a huge memory for him, I'm sure. With the help of his longtime coach, Craig Boyton, Steve Johnson has put himself in prime position to continue his Long rise okay. in the Emirates ATP rankings. They've had a lot of success together. They have a really close relationship, a great bond, and Craig really understands Stevie's game, but also his mentality, and he's figured out how to get the most of Stevie. He's working with Craig Boynton, and I think they've had a great partnership, just continuing to get that confidence. You know, he's got to always focus on his serve and his forehand as his weapons, and then just shoring up the other things. His backhand's never going to be quite the weapon his forehand is, but just making it so it's not really a liability. I've grown a lot as a tennis player. I've gone from you know two three hundred to consistently in the top 40 the last couple years and I think that makes a big difference on my confidence and what you've seen with Stevie is once he has the success it gives him more confidence to believe that he can continue it next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered triple action we're in Bastard, Hamburg and Newport and the race is on. Who's where in the battle to make the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals? Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.